Yo, yo, yo! This is Hal Huxley with my dog Flotus on behalf of Alpha, Alpha Crucis Esports. And we're here to present another match of the first OCE community competitive season. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Twitter at Alpha Crucis ESPT. Feel free to donate to our competitive prize pool at Match Reno. And you can also check out all the replays on YouTube. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe on Twitter. All the links are below. All right, Flotus, do you want to roll through the teams and uh, give us a bit of a breakdown? Yeah, not a problem, man. Um, so we got uh, Hive Mind versus a uh, team formerly known as Poop. Uh, Hive Mind, we've got Tofar, tw Tofar 1 on the Twin Blast, Lord Gurney on the Howitzer, Dripless Yarl on the uh, Narbash support, uh, BJ Irish on Bellica mid, and Adzi Bacon in the jungle for Hive Mind. Um, and for Team formerly, formerly known as, we've got Sozo Labs on the Severok in the jungle, Gerard on the Gideon mid, Nina uh, um, as the Countess in the offlane, Damo Decker support, and Lieutenant Buck as the Revenant carry. Excellent. Okay, uh, should we start in three, two, one, go. Sweet. All right. Uh, so just looking at the um, the bands, it looks like Hive Ma Mind banned Yin, um, which was an interesting pick, and the team formerly known as Band Grux. I do know that uh, Bacon has been playing a fair bit of Grux lately, so that might have been a strategic pick against that. Um, that said, I'm surprised that Decker didn't get banned. Obviously, Decker is you know such a strong character, also one of Demo's mains, so it's um, very interesting. You can see Lord, Lord Journey getting a, a bit of harassment here um, by three of them. They've just dropped a very offensive ward there. Lord Gurney sitting over the top of that offensive ward uh, near the orb prime. Teammates are coming in, checking it out. They're none the wiser though. Hopefully they'll get a, a ward down there uh, so they can de-ward. Very offensive warding by the team formerly known as yeah, it's, uh, um, that's what that's what you you would generally do uh, in the first minute. Just lay out all those wards, get yeah, the side on the map. Players. For real, uh, what do you think about the team composition here, Flotus? Uh, um, I mean, it's pretty pretty decent. You've got the uh, um, the Deco obviously is the top priority pick with the com comboing well with the Gideon. Or team formerly known as. Um, you've got the Severog with the, with the lockdown, the stun, um, the root, sorry, and uh, yeah, I mean, they've, they've got a strong lineup here. Um, Demo coming up mid. It looks like it's going to go in for some harassment. No, no, he's backing off. They've got two mid. He's just lurking. Very cheeky. Harassing BJ Irish here. Yeah, you, you'll see that a lot. The the support will start to roam a bit. I mean, it's fairly early to start roaming, but... Uh, <laughs> it is very definitely, early. Definitely, Two definitely good, though. Yeah, Demo being very active here. Uh, you know, wouldn't surprise me if he's wearing his active wear. He's um, getting out and about, checking things out. It's nice, it, nice man. to see. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be an interesting matchup, I think. Uh, looks like Hive Mind have quite strong CC. You know, they've got two stuns. They've got, well, three stuns, actually. Two stuns and a knockup. Um, Howie with his bounce mines and slows. So they're quite CC heavy. I think if they can combo that, they're going to be doing quite well, to be honest. Mm, definitely. Right. So you just see here, Adzi Bacon, he's picking up his green buff. Uh, it's coming up to the three minute mark where the river buffs will spawn. So he's going to want to secure that. Um, possibly, uh, maybe try gank, but uh, he's pretty low here. So, I mean. I think so. Just quickly, what time are you guys at? Uh, 3, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, right. 22. Where about you? Yeah, I'm at 317 at the moment. Okay. That's all good. Uh, Lord Gurney, very low here. I don't think he'd be want to be hanging around. Dripless Jar comes in. Oh, he gets stunned. He's going to get erased. Adzi Bacon coming in and protecting them. Dripless and Lord Gurney, both incredibly low. Lord Buck, also insanely Buck low. Oh, just escaping there. Deep. Yeah. 
I wasn't, I wasn't too sure if uh, if Adzi was going to stick around there or do anything because he was low. Um, obviously, you know the burst with the green buff, but uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, not not quite enough early game. Uh, that's it. Looks like Bacon's sitting out. What you know, level three uh, hasn't got his ulti yet. You know, not too much health, so is. He's not the Phenom that he's going to be. Just double checking, I'm sitting at 405. Where are you guys at? 4, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Uh, do you guys mind pausing 19, for a second? 20. 420, yeah. You got okay, 420? Well, I'll get uh, to 420. Out. Okay, I'm at 420. Uh, I'm rolling up to 430. Sorry about this, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Now with the uh, technical technical difficulties. Uh, technical difficulties. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <sighs> I'm good to go when you guys are on three, two, one, play. Yep. Okay, and we're so. back in. Back in the saddle. Okay, having a bit of a fly around. Looks like Lord Gurney was getting stunned there, but yeah. Nothing too crazy. Let's see, mid looks like it's just farm as usual. Uh, over here on the right, we have Tofa. Oh, Neem's going in on Tofa. Oh, no, she's very low mana. Very low mana, she's hanging around. She's pushed up quite far oh, here. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Adzi Bacon's got the invis here. He's looking to gank Nina. Yeah, uh, he's coming. Guy. He's coming in. I don't. I don't think she's away here. He's no the idea. Yeah. Oh, oh to the and face. the stun. The stun. Twin blast comes in. Topa. It's looking bad. Oh, nice. She's gonna go down. Up. Topa with the kill there. Yeah, lovely teamwork. Great work of the invis buff. Love That's it. That's what you want to see. You want to see that. That's good stuff. Definitely. All right. So how are we looking on farm at the moment? Um, we got hive mind sitting on seventy two, uh, and uh, team formerly known as sitting on sixty seven. So not not too not too far apart. Yeah. Nice. Nice. They're coming along. Okay. Looks like Lord Gurney sitting down at half health over here on right lane. That's a dangerous position to be in when you've got a Decker, you know, being a stun away. He's also very low mana. There's not much he can do at the moment. Keeps up yeah. Lord, uh, Lieutenant Buck with a bounce mine, but he's really backed up under tower. He's, um, just, just a quick note here. His starter item is, was, was his ward. Um, ah. I'm, I'm not too sure if, like, you know, being in the off lane, I, I personally, like, I'd probably run uh, a health pot and a healer token just to sort of keep that sustain. Definitely, I mean, 100%. He feels he needs the ward there, there's no harm in that. So. Oh, 3v2, stunned. Oh no, Dripless Jail gets taken out by Lieutenant Buck. It wouldn't surprise me if they just go in and dive this very soon. He's not in a great position. Looks like Sozo has gone back to uh, farming, doing jungle things, sitting over in mid, harassing uh, Bacon by the looks of it. They're being very aggressive here, the uh, team formerly known as. Sozo Labs running through enemy jungle, doesn't care. Coming up so on Tozo. Sozo's got the green buff here, so can he do anything with it? Looks oh. like Lieutenant Buck might be going in. Oh, Lord, Lord Gurney. They're down going very for Lord low. Gurney. Yeah. He's going to go down. A lot of uh, aggression there on the, uh, on the right lane. Oh, yeah. Buck's really pulling ahead. He's on 13 CP now compared with Topher on 10. Those three kills are just helping him skyrocket. He's only got 36 CS compared to Topher's 28. Uh, but those kills are just propelling him forwards. If he can keep this up, especially as a Revenant, you know, he's going to be in a really good position come mid game. Oh, definitely. Looks like Nina's sitting very low over there on the left. I'm not sure what's going on. Looks like she's back. Oh, she's back. Oh, lost. Yeah. That's a Dripless Jalen Topher. I'm probably going to take the tower, I would imagine. 
Yeah, there it goes. So as far as real estate is concerned, they're both missing a tier one tower at the moment. It's looking relatively even. Just in the uh, the mid lane here, we got uh, Gideon and, and Bellica up against each other here. What are, what are your thoughts on Gideon and Bellica in the mid lane? Uh, Messing each other. Look, Gideon has amazing poke. He's also got a great escape. Uh, that said, you know, being a caster up against Lieutenant Bellica is never really a fun thing. Let's be honest. Oh, yeah. BJ Irish getting smacked about by Sozo in mid. BJ Irish in a very precarious position. Gets the oh, knock gets on Sozo. And he gets away. Fantastic. Love your work. Sozo backing up, going to lick his wounds, his low health, low mana. <laughs> so, uh, not a bad engage. As he's lurking around mid, looks like there's 2v2 here. Not sure if anything's going to break out. No, it looks like uh, Adzi Bacon going back to jungle to do his thing. Uh, oh. Once again, it looks like uh, the team formerly known as being very strong on their ward game. Deimos is constantly putting out those wards, getting rid of uh, the enemies. Doing a great job here. Oh, Demo coming in, possibly getting a stun. Oh He's, yeah, uh... a little bit premature there. And he, he just pooped his ult out. I have a <laughs> tendency to do that with Howie and his a, uh, a launch attack, I think. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You just uh, get a little bit nervous. It's okay, it happens to the best of us. So I see Lieutenant Bark and Damo have um, rotated to the left. They've rotated to um, the off lane just to get that easy farm. Uh, it's mm. 2v2 over here at the moment. Damo being very aggressive, harassing Adzi. 2v3 by the looks of it, and they're backing up. They've also um, they've also rotated to that side just... Uh... Just to sort of be closer to the Raptors, I, I feel like a lot of people are doing it nowadays. Um, trying to trying to get as close uh, your carry as close to the Raptors as possible is it always a good idea. Yeah, we're just past the 10 minute mark as well, so they'll be definitely uh, you know conscious of that of dewarding. Sozo going in there and dewarding. Both teams look like they know it. You've got Adzi Bacon and Dripless Jarl. Um, oh, which, ooh, fuck. Tofa. takes Tofa out one on one. Carry be carry. Sozo comes in, misses his ult. Damo with the stun. Oh, Damo with the stun. Dripless down. Gideon ult. Oh, they're gonna dive that one. Nina's gonna get the kill. Oh wow, that was that was a that was a collapse there on. Uh, yeah, on that was lane. great work. Took out three of them. They're making uh, doing business on that. Just got another uh, another tower. Going through, they'll be setting up for for Raptors, no doubt. Looks like, like Nina's gonna be stealing that gold buff too. Yeah, I mean that's a that's an essential part of um, part of the game. If you can control both gold buffs, you know it's only a little buff, but uh, it really does add up. Nina's taking invis. Looks like she's gonna go over and uh, hunt herself a house. Oh, so. oh, we've got we've got Raptor plays going on here. Uh, team formerly known as are gonna. He's taking all three of those, I believe. And yep, Buck's gonna secure those. Yeah, no contesting, unfortunately. So we've got um, Soza Labs running the as a Severog. He's running the blood soaked armor. So that's just gonna make it a bit easier. Ah, uh, secure yeah, those. Choice. Secure those Raptors, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's a must have. You see it a lot on you know a Quang and a Severog, blood soaked armor mm -hmm. on Grox as well. Uh, really helps you just cut through those Raptors early game. All right, how are we looking on farm? It looks as though Lieutenant Buck is sitting on 23 with Topher on 15. So it looks as though the team formerly known as are really kind of pushing forwards at the moment as far as CP is concerned. Gerard might be in trouble here with Bacon coming in on him. Uh, BJ Rush, no, he just zips away. The beauty of a Gideon. That's it. You should know those, those escapes well by now, Hal. <laughs> uh, used to bang Gideon back on Legacy. I saw it. Yeah, uh, good, good times, good times, great times, you know. Um, it's not picked too often, and, um, you know, I mean, in this kind of combo, uh, it's an interesting choice, simply because there are a lot of stuns on the enemy team. So, you know, his ulti can really be cancelled quite easily. Uh, here we have um, Hive Mind pushing mid high. They've got four people here. It looks like they're going to get this mid tower, this mid T1. 
No, they're backing off. Backing off. Sozo lurking. Sozo invis. Not sure if he's going to go in on it. Oh, he's been exposed. <laughs> <laughs> Sozo we labs see exposed, you. everybody. We see you. So he's, he's, got, exposed. He's, got, he's got the, he's got the subjugate. Oh, gets knocked back. Unfortunately, not doing anything with it. Yeah, they're lurking. Looks like they're going to set up. Lieutenant Buck just now, doing his obligatory happy dance, jumping up and down. Great guy, Buck. I've uh, spoken oh, to him. So oh, he comes in, gets the knock up on BJ Irish. Oh, it's gonna be all over. Great combo. The, uh, the kitty and yeah. on top of it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if that was needed there, Gerard, but you, you, you did good at like securing that one. I, I feel that you needed to secure that, so that was a, that was a good job. Icing on the cake, really. Icing on the cake, you know. Um, now, now he's just showing off. Good on Gerard. He's a bit of a show player, this Jerry. <laughs> you know, likes to put a show on for the people at home. It's good. It's good. You know? <laughs> Got to keep these people on their toes, right? That's They're it. pushing hard mid. Oh, looks like. Not bash with the ult. ult. What's his ulti? Is he gonna have backup? Oh, oh. Damo with the heal on Lieutenant Buck. He's doing a great job of keeping Buck alive. Wow. Not enough though. Tofa takes him out. Oh, and Gideon oh, takes wow. out Tofa. Great plays. Damo hanging Damo on by thread. That's uh, very, very slippery. Great support work there, I must say. Definitely. Damo on his main, on his comfort pick. So, you know, it really does show. Means is lurking here in uh, mid lane. Looks like she might be sitting up for something. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's and, what you love to see, right? You lo you love to see a support just going all out for their carry and and their team, of course. But you know, keeping their eyes on the carry. Damn right. Sozo missing the uh, the tether there. It looks like Nins is coming in. She's not aware that Buck uh, that Adzi Bacon. Oh, Adzi with oh, the Oh, she's gonna get face. stunned there. Oh, Under tower. She's gonna go down. Lovely play. Bacon wow. dropping ulti, getting a bit of a heal. They're going to be safe here. I, I'm pretty sure they're going to hold that relatively easily, to be honest. Um, oh, rock to Sozo's face. Sozo's going to dash it's like away. like a mid here. It's all happening in mid. Yeah, Jerry has little to no mana, so he's not going to be much help. Deck a cage. Not sure not they sure can convert much can from that. There. Yeah, yeah. It would have been great to have had some follow-up, but um, unfortunately... Maybe, maybe the Gideon all there, Gerard. Yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, things for next time. Things for next time, definitely. Uh, just checking out the um, the current farm. They're looking pretty even. We've got 229. Oh, Lord Gurney is DC'd by the looks of things. Uh, oh, really? The Howards are on hive mines. Yeah, that's that's not good at all. That's really uh, possibly going to put them behind. Um, Hopefully he gets back into the game soon. As I was saying, the farm has been relatively equal. 241 uh, to Hive Mind. They're actually ahead uh, on CS compared to 235 for the team formerly known as. That said, uh, Lieutenant Buck has really propelled. He's sitting at 31 compared to Topher on 20 wow. CP. That is yeah. an absolute substantial lead. That is yeah. Crazy, uh... And I mean, that's something that, you know, obviously Revenant is built for that kind of play. He is going to be able to snowball. Uh, looks like Rev's going to pick up the uh, the Invis. Not sure if he's... They're, they've dropped wards, dewarding. Just doing a bit of uh, a bit of garden maintenance by the looks of things, you know? Tidying things up. Demo and Buck look like they might be trying to start a little something-something here. Oh, oh, the Raptors are up, that's right. They would uh, be setting up for that, that's for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Sozo looks like he's ready to begin. Yeah, they're all grouped. They're they're going for it. Not sure if there's wow. going to be any contesting here. It doesn't look like it. looks like Hivemind and Nunder Wiser, they're, uh, they're too far off and just doing their own things. BJ Irish has become aware of it, but he's not going to go in any further. He's just going to start dewarding by the looks of things. Lieutenant Buck is going to be sitting on 33 after those Raptors, so... Yeah, Lieutenant Buck chasing down Topher. Uh, just scaring him off by the looks of things, you know, asserting his um, his territory. Uh, who's jungle? My jungle. 
<laughs> oh, another tower goes down. Where was that happening? I'm not too sure, to be honest. Uh, I believe that was right lane. Right that lane, was right lane yeah. Yeah, probably not necessary for them to lose that, but then again, it is just a tier one uh, at 18 minutes into the match. You know, mm. ain't no thing. As they like to say, it looks like we've got a bit of a jungle invade happening here. They're being very adventurous once again. They're basically saying, we've got the lead. We, we really want to make use of it right now. Oh, Dripless Jal goes down. Hammered. Gerard but he's just Alzi. on fire. He's, uh, he's shooting all over the place. Sozo Labs deep in the thick of it. Looks like he might Decade. go down. Fuck. Fuck with the kill on Lord Gurney there. Decker with the going Damo. The carry. Might get the carry. Gets a rock to the face from Rampy. Damo is down from Rampy. Looks like BJ Irish in a bad Buck position. Fuck with another kill. Buck oh is my, Buck is on another. fire here. What is going on? Jesus oh my. takes out. Wow, Buck just got a quadra kill, was that? Yes, Jeez. it was. That was insane. Just gonna run Buck through the jungle just, he, and clean. He, he had that. He had that lead, and he's just like, you know what? I need to make use of this. We need to go in there, and we need to do something about it. Definitely yeah, his, the right decision there. His time to shine. So he is sitting on 41 at the moment. Uh, that's a phenomenal lead at this point. Yeah, that's it. Considering Topher is on 24, uh, that is a massive lead. What is that? 17 points. 20 minutes into the game, he's just, he's really fed at this point. Yeah, towers are going to be falling. Uh, you know, Hive Mind are going to find it hard to come back at this point in time. With a carry that fed, um, they're going to start to lose control of their jungle. You can see um, Gerard doing uh, jungle Gideon things. You know, With that green buff there. That's it, like, you know, uh, doing what he do. Did, did you say jungle Gideon? Yeah, <laughs> indeed I did, you know, it's uh, it's the place to be for a young Gideon these days. <laughs> you just uh, drop one meteor on that and you've, you've got that five stack. Exactly, tasty, tasty. Uh, it looks like we might have a bit of a skirmish about to break out. What's happening? Is um, Buck about to go in on somebody again? I think uh, I might need to just sit back a bit here and just sort of... Just try not to get into fights here. Oh, but oh. that's actually he's gonna turn on Buck. He takes one of them uh, out, he gets knocked up. He's going hard though, he's dancing around all three of them. Looks like he's about to take out Dripless. Oh my god, wow. he's sitting on, Buck is on fire. But he is shredding. Can he not survive? Sure he's no. gonna get out of that though. <laughs> no. Unlucky no. Buck. Tries a 1v3 and uh, does some damage, but doesn't quite convert it. Oh, Gideon with the, oh, uh, the ulti. Great knockback by Sozo into the Gideon ult. Uh, didn't quite catch him, but uh, took a fair amount of energy off Bacon there. Bacon tethered and slowed. Oh, he's going to get erased. Yeah, they're getting pushed back hard now. These boys are... Uh, have mind, really going to have to drop back. That was intense. Definitely. Uh, that's that's another that's another good uh, good thing with Gideon and um, several. The fact that several can just like knock people into into the Gideon ult. It's 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 a great thing to have. Yeah, definitely. If done if done correctly, it can just look look and be phenomenal. Triple S Jar wandering into his jungle when he he, he clearly doesn't realize he he has realized he's staying in jungle though. I mean that's pretty. Pretty ballsy to be honest. I wouldn't have thought he'd hang around. Sozo getting knocked about a bit, but he's going to get out by the looks of things. Yeah, it's just some uptime. Nalbash banging his drums and he's just saying, you know what? Get out of my jungle, Sozo. You're yeah, not wanted in here. <laughs> Sozo on very little mana, so he didn't want to hang about for that one by the looks. It was uh, probably the right choice to be made. Definitely. So, Looks as though they're doing a bit of a ward, de ward, possibly going to be setting up for uh, OP at some point in time. Uh, looks like Lieutenant Buck is going in and just soloing Raptors. Uh, he's taking all of them. Just going to uh, increase that lead. Yeah. Sitting at 48 card points at uh, 23 minutes into the game. 
That is intense. That's a mad farm. Fantastic place. It. It's yeah. So I think I think just hive mind needs to take into consideration here that uh, Lieutenant Buck's got a a great lead here, and they they need to either all focus him at a particular time or just sort of try not to engage because he's just going to do do a lot of damage and it's not going to work out. I don't think. Yeah, I mean, they're in the position where they can really get him into a stun lock, you know, but they've got to combo those stuns, and unless they can do that, he is going to be able to erase them. If they go in one by one, they're not going to have a fun time. It's it's going to be heartache all round. That's it. Like, just seeing, um, get, getting, getting you, like, getting good use out of their, their kits. I mean, you got the, you got the Belica knock-up, you got the Narbash stun, you got the, the Howie pushback, um... You know, you got the Narbash ult with the Howie ult combo. You can you can do a lot here. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, the funny thing is as well is that, you know, as far as the farm is concerned, the CS isn't that far off. You've got 365, mind, versus 414 for the team formerly known as. So it's really that kill lead. You know, the team formerly known as have 16 kills versus five for Hive Mind. 11 of those kills going to Lieutenant Buck. And obviously, as Revenant, uh, he can really make use of those kills. It just propels him insanely. Looks like Lord Gurney's getting some harassment over here. Uh, Demo being very adventurous, they're really pushing up on the right lane towards that tier two, possibly setting up to take it. Yeah, Gurney's going to need a rotate here from his team. Hey, uh... Oh yeah. No. Oh wow. Can we can I we thought, please get wait, can, can we get we in a mode train? This whole time, were we reading? Were we casting this game on the side? <laughs> the heads tilted. <laughs> I'm on some tilt right now, guys. Can we get a can we get a tilt and mode train for uh for our good friend Al? <laughs> Love your work, buddy. <laughs> Why right now experiencing some block new call vertical This is this is how the procasters do it, guys. I... Twenty four fifty that I can do. All right, so near 24.50, ready to go when you guys are. Yep, I'm ready. All right, three, two, one, play. Okay, so we're back in the thick of things. Uh, the thick things being, it doesn't look like there's actually too much happening. Oh, wait, I stand corrected. Looks like Nina might be going in and... Uh... Oh, she's rocking the master skin. I just Sweet. noticed that. Very nice. I love yeah. seeing a, a Countess Master Skin, it looks good. Nina and Buck picking up those river buffs have really got control of the map at the moment. Means has just picked up Invis. Uh, she and Gerard kind of heading in mid. Possibly going to bait out some kind of attack. Oh, she's going, she's in, going in. She's going to take uh, him down. Narbash with a single ult. Oh, Narbash. Yeah, Narbash didn't land the ult there. Backing away. Oh, oh Damo is going to go down. Um, Bacon is down. Looks like Lord Gurney is being chased by Nina. No, he's backing off. Nina's backing off. They're really just controlling that jungle, cleaning it up, making sure so, the can't get any farm. At, at this point, I mean, you could push as a team and try to take down the tier two, fall back into OP. Or, I mean, but what, what would you what would you recommend? Would you recommend to just push mid and try to take that? with this advantage or just drop back to uh, old prime look they have options at this point in time i think hive mind are just you know they're heavily under farmed i'd probably go in for op regardless uh you know the lanes are relatively well set and i think just going in for op either you're going to get it with the advantage that you've got oh and they just got the pick on gurney i think yeah. they're gonna be taking taking prime now yeah, I mean, you're either going to grab it or they're going to come in and try and contest and you're going to overpower them regardless. And yeah. So now they've only got... Yeah. They've only got uh, Gurney, Gurney down, so... They're I definitely going to take this OP. Come in. But Damon with the uh, distraction there, so... Damon with needs. 
Yeah, you w I would have thought Hive Mind would be onto that. Um, perhaps they just didn't contest it. They they either weren't aware or they you know knew that it might be a death trap to go in on it. Yeah. Black going hard, he's just pelting them. Gets knocked up by uh, Dripless Jow. Oh, that's damage. He's taken Topher out. It's oh, absolutely wow. insane. Erases Bacon. Look at that damage. Absolutely crazy. That CP advantage. You do not want to be standing next to Buck right now. No, oh, means with a dive. Erased. <laughs> Lovely work. Comes in from behind. They're going to take that tier 2 quite easily, really putting a lot of pressure on across the board. These guys are sitting in damage control, having to try to protect. They're going to lose another tier 2 in mid. How with well, the ult, just to push him back a bit, but... Um, yeah. Oh, That's his best to zone, but yeah, absolutely annihilated by Lieutenant Buck. Sozo going deep. Going to get there. Uh, going all oh, in oh, here. Oh. That was beautiful. BJ Irish gets taken out mid-air by Obliterate from the Lieutenant Buck's Revenant. They've taken down the right inhib. They're hitting up the mid inhib as well. Looks like this yeah. could be game right here. It's gonna be a hard climb back if they have absolutely any chance. Still have OP as well. Dripless Jarl getting absolutely annihilated. Adzi gets the, gets the rock on Lieutenant Buck. Jerry dropping his ulti. Great positioning. Cleans it up. You know, all you need as a as a uh, all you need as a Gideon is just to have some distractions, and you know you can do a lot, a lot of damage with that. Even though the enemy team had stuns, uh, they were using them up, and Jerry was able to pull off that lovely little um, you know energy drain there at the end. Great match. That's great it. match. That was intense. 29 minutes. Um, 29. Yeah, we've seen we've seen that happening a lot. I think uh, Epic have really gotten their wish of you know the the half hour match. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, that was you know it was very difficult. Lieutenant Buck ending up on 60 points there, 11 CP unspent. Um, you know, didn't have a chance to back, just kept on pushing hard. Ends up with a KDA of 18.26. Obviously, KDA, not everything, but that really was what benefited them as far as the farm is concerned. Uh, CS, mm -hmm. you can see that uh, Hivemind only on 409 compared to 507 for um, the team formerly known as. So, not a huge CP, not a huge CS advantage there, uh, to be honest. Oh, they, they've got like a hundred, hundred CS lead. Um, yeah. But I mean, I mean, just, just uh, stay, staying on top of those, those raptors when, they, whenever they spawn, and just when, when you've got the lead, you just want to take advantage of it. You don't want to let the enemy catch up. So I, I felt like uh, team formerly known as Poop, they were just, they were just taking, taking that that lead that they had, and they wanted, they wanted to make good use out of it. And in the end, it just it worked out for them. Yeah, they certainly applied constant pressure. It really played out in their favor. Um, they didn't really let up. And Revenant is, you know, a, a hell of a per player to contend with um, if he does get fed. I think a lot of teams are still adjusting to his style of play as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's certainly something to keep in mind. Do we have any uh, body that we can bring in for interviews, or are we going to go straight on to the next match? Um, I'm not sure. Should we, should we bring him in here? Just taking a quick look. It doesn't look like anybody's actually about at the moment. Uh, this match was actually played um, previously, played some time ago. So we're just uh, casting it now. But um, anyway, that was an excellent game. I think we'll probably leave it there, guys. Uh, once again, thank you so much. Uh, the team formerly known as Boop as well as hive mind great plays um shout out to all the players shout out to the uh alpha Chris's esports uh discord crew you guys are amazing um yeah look enjoy your evening feel free to like us on all the social media it really helps you know hit those like subscribe all that kind of jazz and uh yeah this has been hal huxley with flirtus Signing off for Alpha Cruises Esports. Peace. Peace.